Most agree that in order to achieve uh, upward mobility economically, it's important for one to receive education and training. And it was for that reason that the Schweitzer Bollinger administration placed historic amounts of new money into higher ed and K-12. We feel that uh, it's the educated workforce that's going to be employed. Now, it's startling to me that here in Montana, uh, about 62% of all those who go to one of our university units has to take out a student loan. And those people are graduating with a debt of around $25,000 on average for undergraduate degrees. Uh, paying that loan back has become a very, very financially burdensome thing. When I'm elected to the United States Senate next November, the first bill that I will sign on to is S897, Senator Elizabeth Warren's bill, titled the Bank on Student Loan Fairness Act. This act will provide students the opportunity to borrow money at the Fed fund rate, the same rate that banks borrow money from the Federal Reserve. It's a loan, it's not a gift, it will be paid back. One of the unfortunate things today is that so many students here in Montana uh, are unable to meet their obligation and to pay back the loan. They have a default rate of 8.2%. Now, if they default on their student loan, it's going to be very difficult for them to arrange credit for the purchase of a home or a car. Uh, we, we bury them with debt. So, S897 will provide uh, students to borrow money at a... Uh, very reasonable rate. We need to encourage students to continue their education, to make it financially affordable, and this will be a, a way to do that. Now, it's interesting. Uh, uh, Senator Warren's bill has been out, and yet uh, our congressional delegation hasn't been supporting them. I feel as though this is in the best interest of Montanans, and as I say, this will be the first bill that I will sign on to when I'm elected to the U.S. Senate. Look forward to uh, conversations with you and feedback as to how we can move this forward.